All right, so let's look at mitosis and the steps in mitosis. So this is looking at the overall thing of everything that's gonna occur in mitosis. And so a couple things to consider before we get started here is that the DNA is already replicated. We already have those duplicated chromosomes. We're gonna start off with one diploid cell and we're gonna end up with two diploid cells in the end. So the first stage here is called prophase. So this is prophase. This is before prophase, the stage which we're gonna talk about later on called interphase, all right? So this is just a comparison before. So this is not mitosis here. This starts mitosis and prophase. So what we see first happening here is the DNA condenses. So we go from chromatin into chromosomes, all right? The nucleolus, which we had here, we no longer see there, it disappears, all right? Next, the nuclear envelope, which we see here in the early stage of, of prophase, starts to break up, and that's what we see here in this later part of prophase, all right? Next, these things called mitotic spindles form. So you see these yellow lines here, those are the mitotic spindles. Back here in interphase, we don't see them, all right? So these are microtubules that are gonna move the chromosomes during mitosis. Next, the centrioles. So here's a central there, there's a central there. So here are the centrioles. These are gonna to move to opposite poles of the cell or opposite ends of the cell, all right? So we can see they're close together here. They're moving apart here and eventually they're gonna to move to opposite ends of the cell. Now those centrioles, these are organelles that are gonna control the mitotic spindles movements and so by doing so, they're gonna control the chromosomes movements, all right? So the last thing that's gonna happen here in prophase is those mitotic spindles are going to attach to the chromosomes. Don't worry that this says prometaphase, I'm just lumping that all together under prophase. The next stage is metaphase. And so in metaphase, here, the chromosomes are aligned in the middle of the cell. So for us, we would have 46 chromosomes lined up right there in the middle of the cell, all right? The next phase after this, so this is just showing metaphase again. The next phase after this is anaphase. And that's in, what happens in anaphase here is, is those, uh, uh, the sister chromatids are separated from each other. We now call them daughter chromosomes. And these are gonna move to opposite ends of the cell. They're following those centrioles, okay? So sister chromatids are separated, now called daughter chromosomes, all right? And those are gonna move to opposite ends of the cell. The last stage here is telophase. And what's gonna happen in telophase is after the chromosomes have completed their movements here, the mitotic spindles are gonna disappear because we don't need them anymore. We break them up, all right? Uh, next, nuclear envelopes are gonna form around those chromosomes. Uh, the chromosomes are gonna start to diffuse back into chromatin. New nucleoli form, and cytokinesis is pinching in that you see right there uh, is nearly complete. So that's gonna separate the cell into two cells. All right, so that's the stages uh, of mitosis. Now, one of the things I wanna impart upon you is we start off with a duplicated chromosome. We have one of these, this is a duplicated chromosome. This is a sister chromatid of this. That's one duplicated chromosome. But what's gonna happen here in anaphase is when we separate those chromosomes from each other, we have, I'm sorry, sister chromatids from each other. Now we call them daughter chromosomes. We separate them from each other. One chromosome moves this way, one chromosome moves this way. So we started off with one here, we separate it, one moves this way, one moves this way. Another way to look at it with humans, if we had 46 of these, we separate sister chromatids, now called daughter chromosomes, 46 move this way and 46 move that way. And that's why we say we start off with one diploid cell and we end with two diploid cells. Let's look at the uses of mitosis. So if you're an, uh, a single-celled organism, you are going to use it for asexual reproduction, all right? And that's what we see with all these cells, you know, one cell dividing into two cells. If you're a multicellular organism, some multicellular organisms are going to use it for asexual reproduction, and that's what we see with this hydra. This little guy is developing off it, and this is just through mitotic divisions. This little guy has the same ge exact genetic information as this guy. Eventually, it will pop off uh, and become its own individual. We obviously do not use it for asexual reproduction. 
We use it for uh, growth and development. Uh, we also use it for maintenance and repair. So we're constantly making new skin cells, constantly making new blood cells, hair cells, and so on. Right? If you damage some tissue, mitotic divisions are going to use uh, to repair that tissue. So like if you get a cut, you know, mitotic divisions are going to occur to repair that damaged tissue. Okay.